Hi, my name is Jan Ritkowski, and I feel so blessed at this stay-at-home time because I have a neighbor that looks out for my safety. She does this by doing my grocery shopping. She will text me when she's going to the store. I text her with my grocery list, and then she will text me when it's dropped off at my doorstep. In this way, this neighbor is part of the body of Christ. Hi, everyone. Um, we've been adjusting to this new normal, and we are people who have asthma in our household, so we have been self-isolating since the weekend of March 13th. Um, it's strange, weird, because we're always out volunteering and doing things for others, and we have been really experiencing the body of Christ in our lives with people helping us now. One experience we had in the last week with our family was uh, there was a knock at our door about 8 o'clock at night. And it was a loud, loud knock. It wasn't a gentle one by any means. And I opened the door and my neighbor was standing in front of me with a handful of masks for our family. And he is a nurse and he, I guess, decided to go around our neighborhood and provide what he could to our neighborhood. Um, as he is a nurse and, and he was able to, to share what he had. And um, I was very appreciative. We just said a few words and he walked away into the dark. But um, it was very surprising. Um, it's not like we've had a lot of conversations together with him or anything like that, but um, he apparently knew there was a need and he wanted to provide um, his neighbors with something that he could provide. So it was it was a very great thing that he did for us. And I've had different coworkers who have been randomly dropping things off for us. And one of them had figured out that we were getting down to the end of the toilet paper rolls because we'd been at Costco in the beginning of March and we were kind of got towards the end. And she kept asking me, do you need anything? And I'm like, well, and I'm like, no, it's fine. Do not make a special trip anywhere. Next time you go, maybe. And, and she, Friday night, she went and to Costco right before they closed and got a huge package of Costco toilet paper. Who would have thought? Um, but it was just another example of I'd been putting that in my delivery orders and we couldn't get it filled, but she was able to really help us out. I'm so excited that we got toilet paper. So once again, the body of Christ. Boys, how are we helping God right now? Why are we staying home? <laughs> because of the coronavirus. Ravanta, what's another name for the coronavirus? COVID-19. COVID-19. So we're staying home. What else are we doing to keep people safe? That's when we go for, for Mala. Mala, when we go for walks, what do we do? We wear our mask. We wear our mask. Oh, but today we do. But did. today we didn't because we didn't go near anyone, right? So now, Renuk, why are we wearing masks and Prevanta will ask you, why are we wearing masks and because staying at home? Because of the coronavirus. Because of the coronavirus to keep home safe. Us and everyone we love. And everyone we love. Everyone we love. Including, including our neighbors and our family, right? And our friends. And, our friends. and even people we don't know, right? Okay? So what I else? We wear our mask and when we go home, last question, when we go home, what do we do, Ravanta? Wash hands. We wash our hands. Okay. We hope everyone's keeping safe. And we're praying and we tell every the night. Story. And we'll tell a pitbull story another time. But every night we pray to Jesus to keep us safe and all our friends and but family and everyone and safe know. from the Coronavirus. And one time we went for a walk, we okay. saw a pit bull. And we saw a pit bull. But the pit bull hopefully didn't have the coronavirus. So everybody stay safe and healthy. God bless you. This lady, we're here at the food closet handing out food to the under resource at risk. Um, one of the ways that we really are. Oops, I'm like, um, one of the ways that we're really able to be the body of Christ in the world is that 
this allows us to like physically, tangibly do something for people. We're able to put together these bags, we see people face to face, we get to see that need in the world. Um, and so that really helps right now when it's very stressful to be out and not self-isolated, to know that you know, you're helping people who really have no other place to go and no other way to feed their families or feed themselves. So. And you know, in a lot of ways, this is us being the muscles of Jesus's body. We're actually like lifting and moving and physically doing things.